I agree with you, Honorable Deacon. I agree with you. They will leave, like I said, they'll leave like a refugee. They don't even think about the Indian women. Mm. But they are leaving. They're just trying to concentrate on walking. Fading in and out a little bit, Honorable Deacon. Fading in and out. Yeah. So they will be trying to concentrate on walking more than they will be thinking about the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiffany, tell us that. Tiffany, spicy. That shit where y'all get, uh, I don't want to say beat down, but the pussy gets beaten down to the point where you're walking a little funny. You know, you're a little sore for a couple of days. Uh, what actually is happening to your bodies that, 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 uh, causes that to occur tell us that teach us explain that to us okay so ladies and gentlemen right now we're going to take a quick break we have a new commercial so we're going to take a quick break for you all to hear the commercial ChristopherTracyCollection.com For more information, log on to ChristopherTracyCollection.com What distinguishes him from my husband? In Havana, it was his aura. In Miami, his confidence. In Canada, his focus, his drive. In Moscow, it was his passion. In Denmark, his innocence. In India, it was his compassion. In Nigeria, he owned everyone he met. In Mexico, it was love for me. Now, though he is gone, I dress my husband in his collection to remind me as if he were still here with me. The Christopher Tracy Collection still is closing, fine jewelry, accessories, and are in fine boutiques. Worldwide Spring 2017. For more information, log into ChristopherTracyCollection.com. The number one cheap rocket jersey firm. Lonely Hearts Cafe. Spicy conversations. It's Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota. Man, Daddy Young. Microwave! Reggie Long, aka Dollars and Cents. Kicking it with you. Yeah. 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 Let's go, give it to you! It's beach body season. So if you're looking to get that beach body, there's still time. With IASOT, the IASOT is a unique blend of nine all natural herbs. Just eight ounces of tea twice daily can provide you with dramatic results and have you beach ready in no time. Place your order today at www.totallifechanges.com forward slash tea team. That's www.totallifechanges.com forward slash T E A T E A M or call. 678-250-5839 That's 678-250-5839 Start working on your beach body today No tricks in 86 It's time to build Check out the Doug Stewart Show Monday through Friday From 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time Right here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network It's sports talk It's guy talk It's fun talk once again, that's the Doug Stewart Show. One half of the world-famous Two Live Stews, Doug Stewart. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time at StewartMediaAndEntertainment.com. Trust me, you'll have more fun than you can shake a stick at. And I got one question for you. Are you not entertained, huh? Somebody got 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back to the Lonely Hearts Cafe. You are joining us here in the Lonely Hearts Cafe tonight with Christopher Tracy and the Honorable Deacon Aloysius Forever Love. Christopher Tracy, I am here in Tampa, Florida, and the Honorable Deacon is in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So what we do on the Lonely Hearts Cafe is we take your social media, internet, email, uh, text message questions, things that you're going through within your relationships, things your friends, family member, the ratchet family members are going through in their relationships, and we discuss them here. We give you the answers from a male perspective, and then typically on an occasion, um, the ladies will chime in and join us. And then, of course, there are the times where the number one chief rocker, Jersey Vern, will join us too and tell us what would Rocker do. So we are back and we thank you all for joining us tonight. The next question we have is related to some of those that we had earlier. This comes from Catherine, Catherine in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And she asks, she says she's been dating someone for six months. And he's proposed to her honorable deacon. She thinks it's too soon. But she does want to get married. So she's wondering, what do we suggest? How should she handle it? Um, love is a fickle emotion. Marriage and love are supposed to coexist at certain points in your life. It just depends on their age, their compatibility, um, financial standings. Um, six months might not be long enough so it depends on the, if she knows everything that she thinks she needs to know about that particular person then she should go for it I guess but I would wait at least a year four seasons to find out all the emotions from a person um, all the bitterness all the happy I mean, all the happiness all the bitterness all those different emotions in an entire year at least you know, give yourself four seasons with a person to see if you can last 40, 50 years with a person. So, I agree with you. I agree with you, yes. You wait a year, because the thing that you want to go through, you want to go through, like you're saying, all the emotions. You want to run the whole gamut. You want to be there through the good times, the bad times, the fucked up times. And the sad times. Um, you want to experience the highs, the lows, and see how it goes. You want to be there through all the shit that you say in wedding vows, through Richard to poor, through side chicks, through baby mamas. You want to experience all that before you make it official. And, and another question would be if they uh, are they like shacking up together now? Has they have they seen each other the next day? Waking, you know, waking with each other, uh, seeing the, the bad, the bad breath, the bad hair, the whole oh. game, like you said, the whole game. The bad hair can be f- fucked up, you know. To, sh- to to all you ladies out there who wear the weaves and the tracks, let the man see you natural, all natural, okay. Let him let him run his fingers through that shit with some gloves on if he needs them, and then you you know that's how you need to that's how you need to present yourself to a man. If you want a man to be real with you, you be real with him. All the way. Yep. Uh, let's see. I have a follow up question for that to you, but I want to recognize a few people who joined us since our break 
Shout out to Stephanie. Stephanie joining us. Stephanie joining us from Selma, I think. Spicy says that that pushing her body to limits, that's pushing her body to, to the limit. It hasn't been in a minute. Good stuff. What specifically are you talking about, Spicy? That's pushing your body to the limits, or that was pushing your body to the limits. Shout out to Mandelion. Mandeli, huh? What? What's that? The stroke game. The stroke game. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mandelion. Mandelion joining us, ex squad affiliate member. He's the co-host of the. Eat, sleep, grind, repeat show. Hope I got it right. I like it. Uh, Eat, sleep, grind, repeat show with Chief Rocker Jersey Vern. They co-host that show on Saturday afternoons. So shout out to Mandelion. And let's see who else we have. Everybody's just saying hello. Tiffany says that she was engaged three times. We listen to this, Chief uh, Honorable Deacon. Tiffany says that she was engaged three times around six months, but then she started to see the real person in him and broke it off. Were those three times to the same person or different people? That's my question. And I think that that agrees with what the Honorable Deacon and I were saying, right, Honorable Deacon? It takes that time. Yes, it does person can be fake motherfucker and put on you know their good suit but what happens when that suits in the cleaners uh chief rock of jersey Vern says damn tiffany he was mr wrong you know 334 bama boy says that's why he's still single and never married <laughs> 334 bama boy i wonder what uh, a certain person across the bay from me would say if she heard you say that. Would she be shocked? I know you're from the Gump, so you should have a little swag in you. Uh, so is she keeping that? Are you keeping those feelings away from her? Does she expect that one day you all will get married? Or is it what it is? And that goes back to the follow-up question I wanted to ask you, Honorable Deacon. Uh-huh. You know, you gave great advice to Catherine, and I certainly agree with that. But you gave that advice from a man. That advice was coming from a man who uh, has no problem with remaining single for the rest of his life. So, right. So, why, how do you feel comfortable giving her advice on? marriage or what to look for prior to getting married when you are so anti-marriage. But basically, I'm anti-dating also. Have I gone to the point where I can wait, 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 wait. Anti-dating? As far as dating the same person on a continual basis for that amount of time. What's, a, what's too long to date somebody? Uh, depending on their attitude. Are we saying? I already know that I'm spoiled and fucked up. So if their attitude is more spoiled and fucked up than mine, it might not last uh, two more, months. Exactly. I was going to say three months, two months max. Yep. Yep. Two months. I think that's right. You know, I don't mind saying it. Once the boss lady got me past the three to four week period, you know, she might as well have married me right away. Didn't have to wait over a year. You know, she made it that long. She was lucky enough to snag me. Yeah, I said it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Tiffany says that she's scared to get married because she doesn't want to break God's vow and get divorced. She's old school and doesn't believe in divorce. What do you say hey, about first that? First of all, that's man's vow. I don't think that's God's vow. Exactly. Exactly. 